Welcome back to Fast Market here on the TD Ameritrade Network. It's time for our cash tag segment. So let's bring in Landon Swan, co-founder at Likefolio. Welcome back to the show, Landon. Do we have Landon here? Yes, Tom. Hey, how you doing? Oh, sorry about that, Landon. So we're talking. Yeah, <laughs> we're talking Coinbase. We've seen uh, you know Bitcoin rally to year highs before pulling back today. Bitcoin's made some pretty big strides. I heard some commentary out of Dan DeLev uh, just yesterday, and he was saying that, you know what, Coinbase, a competition's coming down the road. People are using other platforms to trade. What kind of data are you guys seeing out of Likefolio to support this move? Yeah, I tell you what, I mean, I love Bitcoin here. I, you know, I liked it at uh, 16. I had a buy order at 15 that never filled. That kind of bites me a little bit, but uh, I do have a good position in Bitcoin personally, and, I, and I'm a believer in it. And I, I know that Coinbase is tied very closely to Bitcoin. I mean, you can just look at you know what their revenues done, what the interest, the consumer uh, purchase intent, and all that has done as Bitcoin has fallen, and, and now as it's kind of come back, almost doubled. Uh, so back up to you know 31 or 32 almost. Um, when you look at the last quarter, we were very bullish on them. Um, and, you know, they had a, you know, we knew the quarter was going to be off, but I think what kind of gave us some confidence that it was going to be a positive earnings report uh, was that the the decline had stopped. And I think that Wall Street kind of expected the decline to continue. They usually do. Uh, but the decline, that, that green line had sort of leveled off and kind of bounced back a little bit. And we're really seeing it's how much it's tied to the just the crypto markets in general. In fact, when you look at the number of people talking about investing in crypto or trading crypto, you kind of see the picture of what's happening. So there's less people interested in investing in cryptocurrencies right now uh, than there were a year ago by about 14%. Uh, and I think that has a lot to do with the fact that it's not screaming at all-time highs. I mean, when it's at you know, 68, 69,000, uh, Bitcoin that is, everybody's talking about it. You got to get in. It's so much FOMO and everyone, you know, everyone's jumping in and chasing money and that's that's investing. But now as it's going down uh, or as it was going down, now it's back up. Trading is actually becoming more popular, which is obviously a good thing for Coinbase. So either one is good for them. They really just need more activity, more people coming into the market. Uh, but we can see just from you know, just overall activity, even though on a year over year basis, purchase intent and website visits are down, which is you know completely expected. Uh, we're seeing that happiness is up significantly about nine points to 65%. So while fewer people are signing up, those that are with the service are happier. Uh, so we do like that. Now, obviously, they've got some headwinds. I mean, the SEC regulations, nobody likes to have a three-letter agency come into your business. So that's that's obviously going to be a negative. Uh, but I think this is going to trade with Bitcoin. Um, and, and yes, there'll probably be some, some competition coming in. But so far, they've They've separated themselves from the competition uh, through sort of this, I guess, above board regulation type approach, um, whereas their competition and obviously wasn't. So um, I like them long term and I just think that, um, you know, very bullish on, on Bitcoin long term. And I know that since they're so tied together, uh, I'm personally bullish on Coinbase and our data is bullish on Coinbase because it's sort of a the bleeding has stopped and now we've stabilized and we can see if we can get a little bit of run out of it here. When the normal investor looks at Bitcoin or Coinbase, are we getting this wrong? Are we in the early stages of this and we're looking at this like it had its pop and now it's down? Or is this just a first or second inning in cryptocurrency that's destined to gain momentum and therefore, you know, Coinbase will gain momentum along with that? How, how, do, how does like Folio see the whole Bitcoin cryptocurrency thing. Sure. So, I mean, when you, if you're asking like Folio's opinion, it's got to be based on data um, that's, you know, consumer sentiment, web visits, things like that, app volume. Um, and, and I can say that generally it's positive. I mean, it, it ebbs and flows with the price of Bitcoin. Uh, so it's a pretty fickle market. Um, personally, I think that we're second or third inning on Bitcoin. Um, I think that, you know, the when Bitcoin was, in the you know hundred dollar two hundred dollar range that was like the pregame warm up and and it was nothing now but now it actually has some utility and I think it's going to gain utility over the next few years and I think that you know 
every crisis of government or crisis of currency is a use case for Bitcoin. Uh, and there's really no way, I, I don't think, for the governments to stop it unless they shut down the internet. So uh, I'm pretty bullish on Bitcoin long term, and I think one day we'll look back and 31,000 will see, seem extremely cheap. Now, let's uh, go on the other side of that, uh, Landon. I know there's the correlation between uh, Coinbase stock and uh, cryptocurrency, but as competition comes in, remember the fees using Coinbase are, are, are astronomical in our industry yeah. at this point. So those are going to come down. Uh, and that's the concern I have, that disconnect. Are people, like, uh, according to your data, still bullish on Coinbase or just Bitcoin in general? And uh, Coinbase is just riding the coattails at this point, but they're eventually going to fall off. Right, so I think that it's a little bit of riding the coattails and eventually they'll fall off. I mean, if you think about it, the, the fees that you have to pay to buy Bitcoin are, like you said, extremely high compared to a stock, right? You can go on tdmeritrade.com and buy a stock for $0. You can't do that. It's nowhere near. I mean, it's very expensive on Coinbase to buy Bitcoin. Um, and as competition comes in, that's going to that's, those numbers are going to go down very quickly, um, but it has to be competent competition where the market has very high levels of confidence in the company. So that may take a little while. And until then, they're going to be raking it in. And don't forget, they have the ability to innovate and come up with something new. So um, it's not just trading fees. So right now, that's the that's the bulk of their revenue. Uh, and, and of course, it, the fees are really high right now. And, and in five years from now, they're going to be much lower. They just have to be. Uh, but they but they're gaining loyalty they're gaining uh, a loyal consumer base where they could innovate and come up with new products and then they could have a completely new revenue stream so i like that they're sort of the leaders right now uh, first to market if you will even though it's it's not exactly first to market but they're the ones that are winning right now very clearly and so they've got a good lead you got to have a little bit of confidence in their ability to execute and innovate uh, but i don't think that the race to zero on commissions is next year i think it's probably four or five years from now all right great stuff great data as always landon appreciate it have a great weekend buddy Thanks, guys. If I don't see you, happy Independence Day. <laughs> you too.